on its fate has been decided by the party's federal legal commission in Johannesburg. Let's cross to our reporter Aldrin Sampier who is standing by. Good afternoon Aldrin. Now what's the latest? We need to know is Diane Cola Barnard in or out? Well, good afternoon, and uh, yes, uh, that decision is out. So there is an outcome to Diane Kolobarnat's um, appeal that was heard here in Santon. And right now, I'm joined by Glynis Breitenbach, who is the chairperson of the Federal Legal Commission, which convened or put together the five-member panel that um, heard Diane Kolobarnat's um, appeal hearing. And right now, there is an outcome. Glynis, thank you so much for joining us. What's the outcome of um, this appeal hearing? Uh, the outcome is that the appeal of uh, Diane Carla Barnard was upheld. Uh, the termination imposed by the federal executive has been set aside and has been replaced with a sentence that is as follows. Uh, her membership is terminated and the termination is suspended for the duration of this fifth parliament. She will be required to pay a 20,000 rand fine to a non-governmental organisation that works in the areas of... Um, of reconciliation uh, with regards to people who were affected by apartheid. Uh, she will have to attend, along with the rest of the caucus, uh, a course offered or a, a presentation offered on the responsible use of social media. And she will have to resign from all her other elected positions in the party. So she keeps her seat as an MP, uh, but her seat as a whip um, and other uh, party uh, uh, memberships that she holds, she will have to resign from. Does this include um, the, as a Deputy Shadow Minister of Public Works that she has to resign from? No, no, no. That is, uh, that is a position that is, that is the prerogative of the uh, leader of the party and, and that is where he has chosen to put her. It has nothing to do with this matter. What are some of the issues that the five-member panel were actually looking at when considering this appeal by Diane Kolobana? Well, they very carefully uh, considered the, as is normal in an appeal, the submissions made by the federal executive, which were very carefully considered, the submissions made by the committee assistant, uh, Mr. McLaughlin, and the submissions, of course, made on behalf of, of Ms. Kola Bonnard by um, Erica Drew uh, All of those were very carefully considered. Uh, all the factors in mitigation were carefully considered, as well as the many factors in aggravation of sentence. And uh, having weighed those, this is what they believe is a balanced sentence. And just quickly on a political front right now, not looking at the appeal, but looking at the DA itself, the image of the DA, obviously trying to appeal to um, both white and, of course, black voters as well. Why would this impact um, the image of the DA look going forward? Because we had James Self, the federal council chairperson, who once said that um, Diane Kola Barnard's post has really tarnished the image of, of the party. Well, certainly the contents of the post uh, undermined where we want to go as a, as a party. Um, our political opponents uh, are very fond of, of using the stick of apartheid to beat us and, and suggest that we would like to go back there, which of course uh, nothing could be further from the truth. Um, and uh, you know, whatever happens though, they will continue to use that stick because it's one of the very few weapons that they actually have. I think this process has however demonstrated that uh, the Democratic Alliance walks the talk, that uh, we have procedures in place to deal with internal disciplinary issues that they're transparent and that we hold members accountable. And so I think that this can only enhance the image of the party. Okay, perfect. Um, that was um, Glynis Breitenbach, who is the Federal Legal Chairperson of the Federal Legal Commission Chairperson of the DA. And as you've just heard, the breaking news coming through from Senton that um, Diane Kola Barnard's appeal has been upheld, she has been successful, and she remains a member of the DA. Thank you very much, Aldrin. We'll have to leave it there. That was our reporter, Aldrin Simpia, who is in Santon, giving us an update on DAMP Diane Collabonnet's fate. Her appeal has been upheld.